Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to pay our respects to one of America's finest television stars who's been taken from us far too soon. I'm speaking, of course, of Stan Merkel Jr. His awesome presence on screen could never be denied, whether it be his early roles on Dead Body, on CSI, Law and Order, and iCarly. His breakout year in film in 2010, when he landed films in True Grit, Black Swan, The Fighter, The Social Network, and Sex and the City 2. Or his true claim to fame as the main character in two seasons of ABC sitcom based on his stand-up comedy, Merkel. Stan Merkel will always be remembered in the church as a man with a kind heart, a tender soul, and a fat wallet for donations. <coughs> now let this be a lesson to all you children. Acting and taking heroin cannot be done. As in our tradition in our church, we like to let our friends and family speak about Stan Merkel Jr. Edward, take the floor. Thank you. Thank you. You know, as a father, sometimes we don't always agree with the decisions our children make, but we still have to respect them and help try to mold them in adults because we love them unconditionally. Thankfully, I only played Merkel's father on television. I absolutely despised that man. He was a terrible, terrible human being. I've, I've never had to deal with someone so selfish. Every single day onto the set, he brought cocaine, heroin, meth, boner pills, as he would call them, and hookers, and he made shooting an absolute nightmare. I'm sorry to Merkel's family, I have to say. I'm sure their loss, they feel, it, with their loss, they feel pain. I, on the other hand, do not. I think it's, it's very telling what a man Merkel was, that the congregation that he proclaimed to love didn't even have enough respect for him to give him a proper casket. As you can see, they just propped his body up on a picnic table with one pillow. That says it all to me. Pastor, back to you. Thank you, Edward. Now, you know I don't condone vulgarities in this house of God. But you spoke from the heart. <coughs> and for that, I can forgive you, son. Now. Will Stan's longtime girlfriend, Tammy Delgado, please speak next. Tammy, baby. Here you go, beautiful. Oh. Hi, I'm Tammy. I'm sure all of you know me as Merkel's girlfriend, or you know me from Playboy and Maxim. And if you don't know me from that, well, you know me from this. So, yeah, anyway. Murky and I dated for a couple of years. The relationship was good. You know, he never hit me or anything. He'd just get mad whenever I would hang out with the Denver Broncos or the Sacramento Kings or the San Diego Paid Padres or the odd future kids. But he'd always forgive me if I cleaned up afterwards. So that was nice. Marco was a really sweet guy if he ever opened up to you. He always would tell me about how insecure he was and how he never thought he'd be good enough for anybody and how he was weak and how I should never leave him because he would never, ever, ever find anybody else. You know, real sweet man stuff. One time, I caught him wearing my bras and putting on my lipstick, and that was really cute. I'm gonna miss my little murky. He would always give me some money and let me drive his Porsche whenever the Harlem Globetrotter guys called me. So yeah. Merkel wasn't so bad a guy, as long as you held him when he cried himself to sleep. Uh, well, th that's all I wrote down. R.I.P. Murky. Thank you, Tammy, for that beautiful eulogy. And for coming to my chamber so we can console each other after Merkel's passing. How about a round of applause for Tammy, huh? <laughs> She's great, isn't she? What a tight body. Now, Merkel, Merkel's agent, um, Jeffrey Rosenblatt. Would you like to say something about Stan? <laughs> I'm sorry.
so sorry, Marco. <laughs> Marco, forgive me. I was the one who introduced you to Kirsten Dunton's wild coke orgies. I'm <laughs> Marco, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Marco, baby, come back. <laughs> I was the one, I was the one responsible for your, your, <laughs> your spiral downfall. It happened because of me, Marco. <laughs> you had parts, you had roles. They did want to do the Matt Damon sci-fi movie. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I was such a jerk to you. You were such a jerk to me that I even, I didn't want to get you a part for a while. <laughs> I wanted to teach you a lesson. <laughs> Marco. <laughs> uh, I put your roles in those gay pornos. It was a joke. I didn't think you'd actually take them. <laughs> Marco. 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 I can't. I can't. I can't. Bastard. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Now, now my son, God forgives all who ask him to, but Marco cannot forgive. He is dead. Now, we would finally like to hear from Stan Marco Sr. <clears throat> Sir, if you would. Stan Marco Sr., everybody. Thank you, Pastor, for the, the beautiful, beautiful speech. I have, uh... <clears throat> prepared some remarks on behalf of Cheryl and I. <sighs> we are we are very heartbroken at the loss of our our dear boy Stanley Jr. We appreciate everything our family and Merkel's friends have done for us these last few days. You cannot imagine how hard it is to lose your your sweet little boy. Stanley was always talented, spirited. We used to go in the backyard and Toss the pigskin around. I taught him to throw a tight spiral. That's how he got the full ride scholarship to Arizona State to play quarterback. He had a couple of good years there, but after his junior season, he came up to me and he said, Dad, I don't want to play football anymore. I just saw guys and dolls. I want to become an actor. I said, damn it, boy. You're in Mel Kuyper's top 10 on the big board, an actor. But like, but like Edward said, you must, you must respect your child's decisions. So Stanley quit the team, and he followed his dreams and moved to New York City. I knew the whole time it was wrong. It's not what he should have done. <sighs> if your child ever comes to you and tells you he wants to quit playing sports to take up theater, you just hold him down and you spank him and you spank him hard. Avoid the heartbreak. Now, as you all may know, Merkel was wise with his money. He was a savvy investor. He invested in Buffalo Wild Wings and Apple stock and quadrupled the salary he got from his TV show and amassed quite a fortune for himself. But he died so soon and did not leave behind a will. So Cheryl and I, we have decided to donate Merkel's money to the Betty Ford Clinic so another actor may never die what of help. Stanley? He's risen! Marco has risen from the dead! Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a savior! All hell, Marco! All hell, Marco!